Hot Cheetos Puffs, Flaming Hot Edition. Mm. This is my first time having this, by the way. Flaming Hot Puffs. Oh, they're spicy. Mr. Noodle, are you yawning? It's pretty late at night, by the way. So today is the big day, you guys. 300,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, and I can't wait for the next milestone, and I appreciate your time. So without further ado, let's have a big bite of my ramen. Mr. Noodle. Oh. Here, you can take it from my mouth if you want. So this video is like gonna be me reflecting on this whole year, one year of making everyday videos. And just talking to you guys off the top of my head, what I think about it, how it's affected my life, and all that type of stuff, you know? So I decided to do eating show videos because of my friend Carrie. I wasn't doing this type of video at the time. At that time, I was doing vlogs with my boyfriend, now husband, and, you know, a few recipe videos here and there, but it was really just focused on my life and my relationship, if anything, as well as my diet. That was the big thing. When I first came to YouTube, I was a vegan. I told myself I'd be vegan forever. I wanted to convince the world to do it too. And that was my that was my goal. That was my those were my aspirations at that time. And then, you know, after being vegan for so many years, I got to a point where I just didn't enjoy it anymore. My blood tests were bad. I had a B12 problem, which granted that hasn't really improved too much for my meat. That guy's told me my blood my blood tests, I do injections, so and I came to a point where I just wanted to change things up. I wanted to add fish into my diet. I wanted to try a little egg, um, stay, stay mostly plant-based. And look, look what happened. Oh man, I went head first into the junk. Head first into the junk. Didn't think it would happen like that. I mean, honestly, I was still gonna do my plant-based recipe mukbangs or whatever, but I... Imagine going 10 years without a burger. Hey guys, it may not look like it, but I had to run downstairs for some more water and I had to go get something really quickly, but here I am again. So what was I talking about? Oh, my whole, my journey on YouTube. So yeah, I was a vegan YouTuber, ate vegan food, yada yada. And um, I made the change. The motive, the initiative, what sparked that change was my health. I did not feel right, especially mentally. And to this day, even though I no longer eat everything that's really healthy for me, I still rave about the power of fish. Jesus gave people fish, not by accident. It was for a reason. Mr. Noodle, would you like some? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Got all puffy. <clears throat> Did you get a nice view of the double chin? Yeah. <laughs> so anyways. So that's what sparked it. And I remember when I first added fish into my diet, I was so afraid of judgment. I did get judged. Did you judge me? No. Mr. Noodle loves egg and chicken. Noodle. 
um, when I had egg, I was also very afraid. But I decided to, to be brave as well and just say, you know what, this is me, this is my life, this is my journey, and I, I, don't, I don't like being vegan anymore. So I remember the, the next two weeks, I think, after making that change, maybe it was even three weeks, a good week of that was off camera at least. I'm a YouTuber that will make three videos in a day so I can have lots of backup time for editing and figuring things out for the next videos and stuff. Noodle. So um, I think I took like a week off YouTube, but I still have videos to post, you know. And then I just, and then right around that time I had a visa run. I went to Los Angeles. This is in January of 2016. Mm -mm. January of 2017, I'm sorry. Last year. I like this, Mr. Noodle. And um, so I, I went to uh, Hollywood and the world was at my fingertips, you know? It was like, wow. I could have a burger for the first time in a decade. I could have a slice of cheese, you know? And I was so young too. When I started this whole journey of like not eating animal products and vegetarian and stuff, I was like 14. So, um, I went wild. I went wild. Mm-mm. an amazing time and I'm still having an amazing time with what I do and so that was the whole evolution of it, of it. gained a little weight, lost the weight, gained the weight, lost the weight, go back and forth trying to find a balance of eating healthy with treats and fun having exercise, drinking plenty of water my baby oops, sorry here we go, crunch, crunch, crunch. You can't have the Cheeto, man. You can't eat this. How would you fit that in your mouth? I don't think so. Hmm. Anyways. Seems like yesterday when I made that switch. You know, if you type Nikocado Avocado, the first thing we see is vegan. Because, um, everyone was confused, but I mean, I was confused at the time, and I'm no longer confused. I know I know what makes me feel right, and that's fish. That is noodles. I love I love carbs. To this day, I will be honest, and sometimes I say to myself, "Okay, what did I do wrong? You know, how could I have done something differently?" Because in my head, I told myself there is a way. There must be a way. Even though I tried. Probably 12 different ways, you know? And all the 12, well, not 12, that was exaggeration. Like, I did like five different types of vegan diets at that time. Raw food, fruitarian, high carb, low fat, raw tool form, starch solution, all this kind of stuff. And they are, in my view, fads. That messed up my, my head and my body. Look at you going to town. These are good, Mr. Noodle. Mmm. Share with me. I think I've missed 10 days in total out of the 365 days. Maybe a little more, 12. Not much, not even two weeks though. Um, you guys, we're here, one year, one year later, and this is a brand new channel. This channel is to, I, I mean, start, I film these at nighttime, you know, on, on my channel, it's just flamboyant, crazy, fun, giggly, you know, my normal self.
this channel is about the food, not so much me. And it's also about helping you guys relax. I see so many comments on my main channel, the one that just hit 300,000. Hey, man. You guys watch me to help with your your mood, your depression, your anxiety. You had a bad breakup, you had a bad day at work. And for whatever reason, watching me speak to a camera really helps you. And that's such a humbling thing for me. That's such an honorable, I just, I get taken aback, you know? So I decided, well, let me, let me do something specifically for that. And that's what this channel is. Um, if you guys want to leave a comment, let me know. Is that true for you? Or do you just really like noodles? That's the thing too. I eat noodles almost every day, whether it's on camera or off camera. Because I love them. And a lot of you guys like them as well. I have three channels in total. Uh, Nikocado Avocado is like, look at it like the p political spectrum. Here's me in the middle, Nikocado Avocado. On the far right, we have Mrs. Pickles, which is crazy. It's a little character that I made up when I was a kid for my baby sister. I was seven years old when I, my baby sister was born. And I used to do crazy acts called Mrs. Pickle, put on my mom's clothes, dress up like a crazy woman. And I got a flashback randomly one day and I said, how about I recreate that for YouTube? There's a lot of inspiration for that. Um, obviously, it's from the past, but also currently, Marilyn Monroe, Honey Boo Boo. Who else, Mr. Noodle? Huh? Who else? Honey Boo Boo, uh, Paula Deen, Marilyn Monroe, the crazy German lady, the lady I met in Mexico. Um, it's just all kind of warmth. Miranda Sings, you know, with the lipstick. A lot of different people all put together. Because all ideas come from other ideas. That's the way this world works, you guys. So, anyways, that's the far right or left, doesn't matter. <laughs> far end of the spectrum, craziness. Remember, there's me in the middle. On the opposite side, we have this channel, The Noodle King, which is just to relax chill out, to help you guys take your mind off the stresses of life, you know. Um, also, it's a, a channel appreciation for noodles because noodles take the stress off my life. You know, I'm human too. I have plenty of stress. A lot of stress. Um, so this is for both of us, okay? This channel. Mm. This is delicious. You guys, I do have the recipe for this on my main channel if you're interested. Mm. Very easy, very simple, but very tasty. And it's borderline healthy, dare I say. You won't believe it, so check out that video. This is just like a midnight snack. <sighs> One year on YouTube. Well, I've actually technically been on for like two years. But one year of being consistent, one year of feeling like an actual YouTuber. When I first started, it took me three or four months to get my first YouTube check, which was $100. I remember, when I got a $500 check, and I was like, oh my god, this is so much money. And I used it all to book a f plane flight to the other side of the world. I don't know what I was thinking. I was kind of regular, maybe twice a week. 
but every day consistency I've never done before until now. It's a really cool feeling and I just feel so grateful, so blessed that I can make a living by turning on a camera and putting it onto a computer. You know, I don't want to simplify everything I do that way. I mean, it's a lot of work, but I'm just saying, it's still so new. 10 years ago, like 20 years ago, this was not a thing. You know? The internet is as old as I am. Oh, are you looking? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Isn't that crazy? I'm only 25. I'm gonna take the whole thing. Crunch, crunch, crunch. By the way, the main ingredient I'm looking at it is um, thymine, vegetable oil, canola oil, uh, seasoning. It's, here we go, chili flakes. That's one of the first ingredients. So spices are beneficial for the immune system. They don't even taste spice. It does have a little milk, which you're gonna have a bite. Mm -hmm. So I can't thank you enough. I want all you guys right now in the comment section to write, when did you find me? What, what video was it? That was epic. things always shutting off well I just want to thank you for your time thank you for you know if you've been here forever thank you for sticking by through thick and thin you know this has been one heck of a roller coaster for me emotionally <laughs> physically mentally financially up and down apocalypse YouTube frozen views haters ad block fights in my relationship Fights with other YouTubers, well not fights, but just like people turn on, turning on me, me making mistakes, like it's been like, wow, such a roller coaster. And the cool thing is, you know, we all go through this in life. We all go through, whether it's your, you know, your job, your, your hobby, whatever. Look at him eyeballing it, you poor thing. Uh, you know, you go through this as well, but the difference is that it's all documented kind of in my videos. And since my videos aren't edited, I mean, they do have editing, but they're kind of straightforward. And since I talk about anything that's happening in my life openly on camera, there's a year's worth of information about my life stored on the internet, and that's kind of cool to me. So, yeah. And if, and if you don't enjoy this channel, please don't bother leaving hate comments. Um, I'm getting better and better with hate comments, just ignoring them. Just move along, please. If this channel's not for you, if it's too boring, if it's whatever, um, you're not supposed to like everything I make, you know, there's, most YouTubers do have multiple channels because they have multiple different types of content they want to create, especially if this is their full-time job, you know, and that's what it is for me, and, um, I love noodles, and I, you know, like I said, we're helping each other out here, <laughs> calming each other down, um, calming each other down, look at Noodle crunching his beak, he's calm. <laughs> and Mrs. Pickles is totally eccentric, I know that's not for everybody either. So if you don't like the channels, don't bother leaving hate comments, just don't watch me, you know? But those those of you that do enjoy me, I appreciate it, you know? So, yeah, that's my message to the haters if they're leaving hate comments today. But, um, other than that, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for an amazing year. I'll see you tomorrow.